So I welcome you all to our Republic Day celebration. That was the most uh, amazing flag hoisting uh, I have seen. I've never seen a flag this large being uh, hoisted. Uh, at, on an occasion such as this, Republic Day, it is important to remember that we are honoring and cherishing symbols of our, which uh, depict the unity of our country. Both the flag as well as the national anthem are important aspects of our unity. And that's very important for a country like India, where we have such a heterogeneous population, people of many different faiths, many different cultures, many different identities, many different food habits, languages, etc. And for such a heterogeneous country, it is very important to have symbols such as flags and anthems to bring people together at least twice a year, which happens, but perhaps on all days of the year. Now, flags and anthems are symbols also of patriotism, of nationalism, and uh, it's important that we have these symbols it's especially important because we have people who are dying at the borders uh, in recognition of the fact that they're serving a country. And uh, so these symbols are important uh, as uh, symbols of patriotism. But what is far more important is really the patriotism that we must show in our daily lives. And one aspect of that is actually uh, written as one of our fundamental duties, which is to strive towards excellence. It's very important in all the work we do every day that we strive to be excellent in what we do. We work hard to achieve that excellence, and that fundamental duty of citizens is something we must all inculcate. Now, I didn't know much uh, about fundamental duties because they got enacted during the emergency, which was after I finished my schooling and all that I learned about our Constitution and our, uh, was really during my school days. But about a couple of months ago on Constitution Day, I had the opportunity to read the preamble and the fundamental duties. And other than the duty which I just mentioned, the duty to strive for excellence, there is a duty which is just preceding that in the list of duties, which is the duty to develop scientific temper. And what that means for all of us is that when we act, we act on the basis of evidence. We back the not just scientific evidence and also other types of evidence depending on the type of work we do. Um, so that's something which is really very important that we strive towards, uh, we try to develop scientific temper. As an institute of science education, it's part of a duty to really educate not only ourselves, our students, but also the world around us about scientific temper, the need to look at issues on the basis of facts, on the basis of what evidence there is supporting that. And you are all aware of, uh, and that's not easy to do. India, fortunately, is one of the few countries in the world where ma major religions uh, exist. And with religion also very often, not always, comes blind faith. And when you have blind faith, it is very difficult for scientists to argue against blind faith. But nevertheless, it's important as a community of scientists that we try and do so, rather than ignore such uh, aspects of blind faith. Uh, so I don't have much more to say on this occasion. It's actually a day which we should be celebrating. Um, I believe there's good food somewhere uh, behind us, behind you all, and there's a cultural program. Um, in the institute I was just before I, was, I came here, uh, we would have lots of sports matches on this day, and I would invariably be called to uh, play football. I used to play football with the students till quite regularly uh, till three, four years ago, and they continued to invite me for the Republic Day matches because it was the one opportunity they could physically uh, push me around. And uh, a couple of years ago, for the first time in my life, I did a triple backward somersault in the football field. And of course, the pain lasted roughly a week. But uh, hopefully today, 
There will be no pain, only fun. Enjoy. So enjoy. Thank you.